My name's Lee Bofkin. Uh, I'm co-founder of Global Street Art. We're an online platform for street artists around the world. Um, we support artists on social media. We organize a lot of murals in public space. We have a walls project, which has organized about 500 murals, over 500 murals since 2012 here in London. Uh, and then we do also do commercial projects with brands. I think when you talk about street art or graffiti, for a lot of people, it helps to distinguish between the art form and the crime. Uh, and there's a, a, a generational issue where the conversation around graffiti and street, uh, graffiti more than street art, but was really caught up in um, just kind of the illegal side of it, which still goes on as much today. Um, well, not probably not as much today, but it still goes on. Um, but there are more avenues and opportunities for doing stuff legally anyway, completely separately, and that's kind of changed people's perspectives a bit. We'll work with anyone who's got a wall who's, who's nice enough to give us permission. Um, we work predominantly with private landlords because it's easier to get approval to paint a wall. Um, if you're not in a conservation area, it's not a listed building, you don't need planning permission for a purely artistic mural. You would if it was advertising, but, but not if it's just an art mural. Instead of knocking buildings down and rebuilding them, which is inherently very expensive, you can just create a, a, um, a new skin almost, and that affects how people feel about being there. So that's kind of a, a powerful tool for, for like change, you know, changing a city for the better. Yeah. So at its best, street art can be that. I think there's been an increasing number of opportunities for people who aren't artists to be involved in street art over the last five to ten years. Um, there's a, a lot more publishers of books, there's a street art tours, there's more galleries. Um, within it, advertising, it's not, I'm not sure it's sort of street art anymore, uh, but advertising has shifted in the last five years because of digital. And so there's a lot more of a focus about digital content, creating digital content, uh, and stuff that can be used in social media. Uh, and as opposed to kind of normal billboards, um, mural advertising, just hand-painted advertising, whether or not that's street art doesn't matter, but by hand-painting things, you can create extra photographs and videos that can be used for social media. And that wasn't really there a decade ago, certainly, but probably not really even five years ago. What most people don't like in graffiti is tagging. Uh, and I don't expect people to understand it. Um, and I totally understand where they're coming from because they feel it makes their area uh, look unsightly. But if graffiti, you know, if, if you've only got places to express yourself illegally and the penalties are very difficult, you can't spend several hours, uh, uh, you know, painting a beautiful mural or something like that. So put it around the other way. When you get people permission to do things legally and they can spend eight hours, two days painting a beautiful wall that they know is going to last for a while, then of course the quality of that art is going to go up.